Hello and welcome to This Old Arcade. I'm Tim. Uh, today uh, we're continuing our series on our Gauntlet Dark Legacy. Um, if you remember, uh, we got this cabinet in and basically everything was wrong with it. Uh, no power supply, missing connectors, um, broken picture tube, uh, and a, a bad bad sound on the I.O. board. Uh, instead of sending my board in to get repaired, I went ahead and bought uh, this um, untested board set off of uh, eBay for about 75 bucks. Uh, I figured it was worth a chance that maybe the I.O. board would be okay. Uh, it's definitely less expensive than uh, uh, sending my bad board in, which may or may not be able to be repaired. So, um, Today, uh, I think what I'm going to do is start out, I'm going to test this board set as it is. It's a Gauntlet Legends, and um, we'll see uh, how well it works. Um, first thing I want to do is um, test my battery here. Um, I don't know... This might be interesting for somebody who's um, never tested one of these batteries before. Uh, my old board has a bad battery. I'll try to show you the difference here. Um, you know where to test it and you know, what it should be reading. All right, so here we have my old board set here. You can see it's got this uh, fried. I think that's a capacitor. Uh, maybe some other little caps here in the audio section. Um, and then, uh, oh, on the JAMA, the power input pins. You can see those are, those are burned as well. So uh, we'll pull off our, our battery here and check the voltage on it. This just snaps on to this little chip here. I'm going to be able to get it just by hand here. See, it just snaps, snaps right off. So there's a little guide pin. I don't know if you can just focus. I'm going to take this off autofocus here. There we go. There's a little guide pin on top here. And then you read your voltage across those two pins. So let's uh, get focused on the meter here. I'm reading uh, 0.113 volts. That's obviously too low. We're looking for like around three volts, maybe a little bit more. Um, positive is over here on this side, negative is on this side. So let's pop off battery on our new board here. Okay. So we're gonna go to this side where the um, guide is. It's the opposite of the, um, the pin one designation there. Ground. Whoa. And plus five. Okay, 3.11, 3.114, three, something around there. So that's going to be a, a good battery. I don't have to change that, so I got lucky with that. They run, um, yeah, 10 bucks, something like that. So let's go out and let's check out this board set right here, uh, just as it is. I've already got my dip switches set uh, for our. Um, our uh, VGA monitor, and we'll see uh, if, uh, if it works. 
All right, so um, I've got this all set up in here. I just put some paper down underneath to insulate the bottom. I didn't want to install and then have to pull things apart and reinstall it. So I uh, don't have any of the controls hooked up. Uh, it's just the JAMA and the VGA out and the, the hard drive, of course. So we'll flip it on and see what we're getting here. Uh, hard drive activity is looking good. Uh, all my LEDs look good. Okay, okay, I have audio. That's great. That's kind of what I would expect. Let's go around front and see if we're getting anything here. Okay, okay, the monitor is not getting any signal. Um, I'll show you what it's what it's looking like. Um, that's going to mean um, our monitor card's probably not working um, because we're getting um, hard drive activity. The CPU board's probably working, and the I/O board uh, is probably working too. To build a character. Okay, so we've got uh, we've got gameplay. Uh, let me take you around front and show you what the uh, monitor looks like. Select all right, journey. so this is all we're getting here on the monitor. It just says uh, out of range. So uh, without going any further, I'm going to say we probably have a, a bad video card kingdom. on this uh, board set. Let's go ahead and uh, swap out the I.O. board and see what we get. All right, so I'm going to power this down. And we'll just uh, take this apart here. I've already got a good battery here, so I'm not going to swap that out. But I'll swap the, um, the two EEPROMs that are on here. Disconnect my VGA. There's my new new I.O. board, audio I.O. board. We're going to take the CPU board and the uh, video card and set that aside over here. All right, then there's my old I.O. board. These papers out of the way. First thing I'm going to do is securely mount this before I swap the uh, swap the EEPROMs. Got my mounting screws here. There's four. If you ever have to uh, send one of these in for repair, uh, this whole this whole metal shielding here comes off as a unit. You can pack that in. I think originally it had a cage over it. Somebody's uh, removed it and decided it was easier to get to without it. The bad thing is it um, allows a lot more dirt and garbage to settle on top, but they, they will work fine without that RF cage. I've also restored this power supply connector here, it's got the correct connector on it now, so we're good on that. Okay, let's go ahead and put the jam it in. And these connectors for the 
for the other players. two off till I get these chips swapped to do the our audio chip first or sound ROM Gauntlet 3D U44 sound version 1.0 chip back in my my old board this I might my old board I might hang on to as a uh, just a tester board I know the audio doesn't work I'll have to tag it this uh, bad audio so the you problem I'm putting in um, it just says uh, this say here. <laughs> 346 Gauntlet uh, Dark Legacy 27 inch U37. There. And we've just upgraded this board to a Dark Legacy. And the old ones, 322 Gauntlet 27 inch. I believe that's the original. That in. <clears throat> Reattach my VGA connection for the monitor. Reinstall my compact flash drive here. I pulled that out so it didn't get tweaked when I had the other board sitting on top of it. Okay. And then these last two connectors off over here. And that should be, should be all, folks. Okay, double check everything. Everything looks good. I'm going to get my meter out here. I will check her five volts on the board so I can make any final adjustments if I need. The DC volts. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, so far everything looks looks pretty good. Oh, I forgot one thing. My. Uh, power connector for the compact flash. <laughs> That's where I'm going to measure my onboard voltage from. So. Okay, this JAMA connector is doing better than the old one. I've got 5.23, so I'm going to turn that down. I don't want it that high. I'm going to leave that at, right at about 5.1 volts for now. Sound sounds good. There's a little um, analog digital converter on the back end of the board here. I'm going to test my voltage in there. Yeah, 5.09, so I'm going to leave that for now. Let it run. Check it again later. Let's uh, keep our fingers crossed and go take a look out front. Oh, awesome. This looks fantastic. That uh, 
looks really nice with that monitor on here. And we're out here in the daylight and you can see that it's, uh, it's got good emissions. I worked on the monitor, um, reset the, um, the, the chip in the monitor or the, the settings on the onboard diagnostics and uh, uh, did some recapping to straighten things out. So this looks really good. Um, oh, let's test the sound and see. That sounds good. Enter initials to build a character. It's a little loud. <laughs> better. Select a character. Ah, it timed me out. Okay, all right. Welcome, Blue Sorceress. I've been Select playing this thing without sound, so. Okay, yeah, this is working really well. Really well. You are now entering Carnival of the Lost. Find the exit. Some barrels contain items. Save keys to open doors and chests. Kill me pretty fast here. This is a new character, so he's not very powerful. get this cleaned up. I gotta clean up the monitor, put the glass back on, and tighten the panel up and dust things off. But I think we're basically done with this one. It's um, it's been a, a fun project. Um, luckily the cabinet's in awesome shape so I don't have to do anything with that. Alright so let's turn this off and get this cleaned up. I don't like getting shocked. <laughs> I'm gonna pull this bezel off so I can get around the corners of the tube. Just double check everything's tight on here. Some people are a little cautious or scared about pulling these apart to clean the tubes. But if you can figure out how it comes apart and get to the tube, make sure it's turned off, uh, it can really improve the looks of any of your arcade machines. You can, uh, sometimes you have a tube that looks dingy and old and with a cap kit and a rejuvenation and a clean screen, uh, if your tube's got good emissions, it'll look absolutely beautiful. Okay. Some bezels, pretty clean. Okay. 
glass here. Glass got dusty just sitting out here on the back porch. Yeah, it's dirty. All right, I'll flip this back on. That's a tight fit. Wow. Probably gives the camera a little more glare. Huh, it gives you a weird sound when there's no credits on there. This up here. This cabinet's got a couple of um, license tags from Oklahoma. Um, you can see, you know, down here, down here, and up on the side. But uh, I think I want to leave those. I think they uh, kind of add to the character of the cabinet. I like seeing old cabinets with uh, old uh, license tags on them. Kind of lets you know where they've been. All right, so um, let's go into test mode here. Let's set up the audio. And uh, I think I'll probably set it on free play. Let's see. We're adjust volume. I'm going to drop that. Oh. Down to a track mode. I'm going to bring that way down. Store that. Statistics, game options. It's uh, set on medium. Free play demo, health decrease. Da, da, da. I think I'm going to leave all that. Coin options. Um, pricing options. Free play, set that for yes. Store that. What's our next setup here? Yeah, we don't need to mess with that. Uh, dip switches, control tests, that's pretty simple. It just gives us, everything's yellow, if it works, it turns green. You can quickly go through and check everything. Disk tests, monitor tests, set RTC. RTCs are time and date. I'll go ahead and set that for the fun of it. It's 2000. And 15. 
It's October. What's today? The 17th? Yeah, 17th. And it is... Well, I'm going to have to guess on the time. I'm going to guess 9 a.m. That's military time, so we'll do 0900. And then our time and date set. Reads it right up there. Uh, exit to game. And uh, it's going to do its little uh, loading program again. Our little ding in the audio. Okay, there we are. It should be on free play. Enter initials to build a character. Awesome. All right, so uh, that does it for our project on uh, Gauntlet Dark Legacy here. Uh, thanks for joining us. We got a lot accomplished in a short amount of time. Hopefully this is helpful to anybody Enjoy out there anytime. interested in one of these. Uh, so once again, uh, I'm Tim. Thanks for joining us here at this old arcade. Some barrels contain items. Save keys to open doors and chests. Whoa! Follow arrows. I'm like an owl. I'm like in a pyramid here. Ah, the gold. That's a black hole.